Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the role of various substitute groups on the arene rings. When I talk about substitutes, I'm going to talk about various atoms and group of atoms which are attached on arenes. There can be two kind of changes they produce. First is altering the reactivity of the benzene. So they make the benzene compound either more reactive or less reactive compared to the actual benzene or they also affect the position of the second substitute. So the first substitute also has a say in deciding the position of the second one. Let's begin. You have this benzene compound where X represents any substitute. It is the first substitute attached on the benzene through any kind of reaction, obviously electrophilic, and the benzene ring is over here. Now there can be two important changes. Let's look at the benzene ring from this angle where we are looking at the two possible kind of effects. If your substitute has lone pairs on it, for example, oxygen, nitrogen atoms, or it is any carbon chain that can push electrons, we call this phenomena as positive inductive effect. I'm pretty sure you have already heard this phrase when you were studying AS level chemistry where positive inductive effect pushes electrons so the benzene pi electron cloud becomes more electron rich because the substitute is also pushing electrons. The plane of the benzene ring is over here, you can see that and this yellow region represents the pi electron system. This pi electron system becomes more electron rich. The reason is that the substitute is doing positive inductive effect by pushing electrons towards the benzene ring. More electrons will attract more electrophiles. So the new incoming electrophiles will be more strongly attracted to this new benzene compound. This shows that the reactivity of this new compound is increased compared to the normal unsubstituted benzene. If your substitute number one, which is X in my case, was highly electronegative atom, for example, a halogen or for say a group of oxygen or nitrogen atoms, then that would result in negative inductive effect. Negative inductive effect can also be known as electron withdrawing effect. So it can also be known as the electron withdrawing groups, for example, a group of nitrogen atoms or a group of oxygen atoms. Due to this, the pi electron system will become less electron rich. And that means that the electron cloud above and below the benzene ring becomes less negative. So the pi electron system becomes very less electron rich. And that means that electrophiles looking for electrons will not be as strongly attracted. So the benzene compound in this case doesn't attract as many electrophiles strongly, which means the electrophilic substitution reaction is compromised and the reactivity of this benzene compound decreases. What kind of groups are electron donor so you can call them positive inductive effect and what kind of groups are actually electron withdrawing which do negative inductive effect on benzene. All the electron donors have lone pairs on them or they are carbon chains for example methyl, ethyl groups. These are normally positive inductive effect electron donors. Another possibility is oxygen and hydrogen so OH group and NH2 group because both of them have lone pairs which become involved in the delocalized system. Another possibility is oxygen atom attached to a carbon chain like oxymethyl or oxyethyl. Again, the oxygen atom lone pairs become involved in the delocalized system, making the electron system more rich. Negative inductive effect is normally NO2 group because it's a cluster of two to three electronegative atoms. So they pull electrons rather than pushing them. 
and also carboxylic acid group which is attached on benzoic acid it also has the same reason two electronegative atoms pulling electrons from the benzene system now consider these three reactions wherein first benzene is reacting with bromine in the second ethyl benzene reacts with bromine and in the third one benzoic acid reacts with bromine the difference in the reaction b and c is that it's not benzene it's a substituted benzene where ethyl group has a positive inductive effect on the benzene ring while carboxylic acid has negative inductive effect so reaction a b and c have different groups attached on them reaction b is going to be faster or fastest the reason is that ethyl benzene makes the ring more reactive while benzoic acid makes it the least reactive if we follow the energy profile diagram by putting progress of the reaction on the x-axis and energy on the y-axis we can see that the reaction a the blue line goes up and then moves downward this shows the standard energy profile diagram for exothermic reaction reaction b has lesser activation energy because it's a faster reaction while reaction c the green one has the highest activation energy if the blue arrow represents the activation energy of a you can see the activation energy of reaction b is a smaller because ethyl benzene is more reactive while benzoic acid is the least reactive at least in face of electrophilic substitution reaction the reason is positive and negative inductive effect of the groups now moving on let's talk about the position directors and see how one substitute affects the position of the other one consider phenol on the left hand side which is basically oh attached to benzene and nitrobenzene on the right hand side where nitro group is there oxygen atom has lone pairs which are involved in the delocalized system and this is going to make the benzene ring more reactive so the lone pairs of the oxygen atom become involved in pi bond resonance system and this makes the benzene ring more reactive but it also has an effect on the position in case of nitro group nitrogen and oxygen which are electronegative atoms so the electrons from the pi bond resonance in case of nitrobenzene are pulled by the highly electronegative oxygen and nitrogen atoms in this case the benzene ring becomes less negative but another effect you can see over here is that this also affects the electron density on particular carbons in case of positive inductive effect you can see there is electron rich region on carbon 246 so the new electrophile gets attached on carbon 246 in case of negative inductive effect there are no electron rich regions but at least carbon 246 are very electron deficient and 35 carbons are the only carbons where electron density is present due to this in case of electron donor groups positive inductive effect carbon 246 are the directors and in case of negative inductive effect like nitrobenzene your carbon 3 and 5 will receive the electrophile